Welcome back to The Lost of Us and AI. I'm your host, Norman Shah. Today we are diving into the future of UK's politics and its impact on AI. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more insightful discussions on AI and technology. With me is our intuitive AI model, Mr. Genius. Welcome, Mr. Genius. Thank you, Noman. It's great to be here and discuss these pivotal topics. Let's start with the big question on everyone's mind. Who will win the upcoming UK elections? Based on the current data and trends, Labour has a very high probability of forming the next government. Our estimates show a 96% chance of Labour securing a majority, which is supported by consistent polling data showing their stable lead over the Conservatives. That's fascinating. What range of seats we can expect Labour to win? Our forecast for the Labour Party ranges from a minimum of 400 to a maximum of 430 seats, with the mean being 415 seats. This would not only signify a landslide victory, but also provide them with a substantial majority in the House of Commons. What factors are driving Labour's surge in popularity? Uh, there are several key factors at play. Firstly, there is significant voter dissatisfaction with the current Conservative government particularly regarding issues such as the NHS, cost of living, and immigration policies. Secondly, there is a notable trend of tactical voting where Labour and Liberal Democrat supporters vote strategically to maximize their chances of defeating Conservative candidates. Uh, lastly, Keir Starmer's leadership and Labour's policy proposals on health care, education, and the economy are resonating with many voters. If Labour secures such a majority, what would that mean for the political landscape in the UK? A Labour majority of 400 to 430 seats would allow them to pass legislation without needing support from other parties. Uh, this would enable them to implement their key policies and manifesto promises effectively. It would also signal a major loss for the Conservative Party, likely leading to a period of introspection and leadership changes within the party. Moreover, the success of tactical voting would highlight a broader coalition of voters united against the incumbent government, reflecting a strong public desire for change and confidence in Labour's leadership. How might a Labour victory influence AI development in the UK? Labour's strong commitment to investing in new technologies could translate into substantial funding for AI research and development. Universities and research institutions might see increased grants and support for AI projects, promoting innovation. Labour's focus on ethical AI development could lead to the establishment of comprehensive regulatory frameworks addressing issues such as bias, transparency, and accountability in AI systems. Additionally, Initiatives to enhance education and training in digital skills would pre prepare the future workforce for an AI-driven economy. Uh, in the public sector, AI could be deployed to improve services like healthcare diagnostics, local government operations, and traffic management. Internationally, labor could strengthen the UK's role in global AI collaborations, participating in international initiatives, and setting global standards for AI ethics and governance. Let's delve deeper into the specific areas. How would Labour's AI policies impact social services like healthcare, education, and crime prevention? Labour's policies could revolutionize social services through AI. In healthcare, AI could be used for predictive diagnostics, personalized treatment plans, and efficient resource management. For education, Labor could integrate AI into curriculums to enhance learning and provide personalized education plans. Crime prevention could see significant advancements with AI-powered surveillance, predictive policing, and data analysis 
to identify and prevent criminal activities more effectively. That's impressive. How about labor's approach to the workforce? What visa regimes might they introduce to foster AI innovations? Labor could introduce several innovative visa regimes to attract global AI talent. Um, the AI visa scheme could combine elements of the global talent and innovator founder visas, streamlining the process for AI professionals and entrepreneurs. Uh, additionally, an AI nomad visa could be introduced, allowing AI professionals to reside in the UK for up to 180 days, facilitating short-term projects and collaborations. These initiatives would expand the talent pool, drive innovation, and boost the UK's competitive edge in the global AI landscape. And in terms of security and defense, how could AI play a role under labor government? A labor government could establish an AI force, a specialized branch focused on AI technologies for national security and public welfare. This could enhance cybersecurity, intelligence gathering, and autonomous defense systems. AI could also be leveraged to improve public services, such as emergency response and disaster management. By positioning the UK as a leader in AI for defense, labor could ensure technological superiority and enhance national security. How would NHS and its employees benefit from labor's AI policies, ensuring their jobs are not harmed? Labor's AI policies aim to support and enhance the NHS without harming jobs. AI could assist in administrative tasks, freeing healthcare professionals to focus on patient care. Predictive diagnostics and personalized treatment plans would improve patient outcomes while reducing workload stress. Uh, AI could streamline resource management, ensuring efficient use of NHS resources. Additionally, Labor's commitment to ethical AI development would ensure transparency and accountability, building public trust and ensuring that AI serves to enhance, not replace, the essential human element in healthcare. What are some of the Labour's key AI policies and uh, who might be the relevant ministers in their government? Labour's key AI policies include substantial funding for AI research, comprehensive regulatory frameworks, ethical AI development, and enhanced digital skills education. Uh, key ministers likely to be involved include the Secretary of State for Digital Culture, Media, and Sport, the Secretary of State for Health and Social Care, and the Secretary of State for Education. For example, the Shadow Secretary for Digital, uh, Culture, Media, and Sport has emphasized the importance of ethical AI development, while the Shadow Secretary for Health and Social Care has highlighted the potential of AI to transform healthcare services. What challenges might labor face in implementing these AI policies and how can they address them? Uh, labor would need to balance fostering innovation with implementing regulations to prevent misuse of AI. Ensuring public trust through transparency and accountability measures is crucial. Managing expectations with a strong mandate and addressing internal party dynamics to maintain unity would also be important. Additionally, addressing global and domestic issues like Brexit implications, economic recovery post-pandemic, and international relations would require careful management. Today's discussion highlights the potential transformative impact of labor's victory in AI in the UK. As we look into the future, how do we see labor's policies shaping the AI landscape? Labor's comprehensive approach to AI could position the UK as a global leader in responsible AI development and deployment. By prioritizing ethical considerations, fostering innovation, and enhancing digital skills, labor's policies could drive significant economic growth and societal benefits. Ensuring AI technologies serve the public good, labor's tenure could mark a period of transformative advancements in AI, benefiting both the economy and society at large. Thank you for joining us. Reflect on these insights and share your thoughts in the comments. 
Let's continue this important conversation. Stay curious and stay informed. Thank you, Noman. This concludes our discussion for today. I hope our viewers found it informative and thought-provoking.